It's not that hard a name to get right. Did you even go to school? Doctor surgery is that way. Thank you. That's the toilet. My mistake. Take a seat, John. Right. It's Mr. Smith to you. Alright. Well, can you speak up? We can't hear you. So about your x-rays from last week, we have investigated them thoroughly and... Well, hang on, but I didn't have any x-rays last week. If you'd let me finish earlier, you would have known that you have a terminal disease. <laughs> I'm deeply sorry, but you'll pass away at 3am tomorrow morning. What? There is some good news. Wait, wait, how can there be good news? I got you this hourglass so you don't have to remember the time. Goodbye, John. Oh, just one more thing. What? When you die, say hello to my grandma for me. She went to hell too. Now get out. Next! Bad news, guys. I visited the doctor today, and she told me I had 24 hours to live. You have no new messages at all, loser. It was at this moment that I'd realised I've been a massive ass. I have to put things right. Honestly, I'm worried more about that than I am about smacking my face flat on the ground. Oh well. <laughs> Hi Gran. Um, long time no see, obviously. Um, I've got some very bad news, which is the reason I'm calling. It's been 20 years and now you want to make contact. I know, I know. Look, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm, I'm dying soon, Gran, and I just wanted you to know that when Mum died, you raised me, and I will always, always love you for that, and I will miss you sorely when I'm gone, and I just wanted to make amends with you and tell you how much I love you, so thank you, truly, thank you. Ah! Did, did you say something? I think your mic might have been off, dearie. Hang on, let me fix it. Ooh, red button, this might be the one. Thank you, Glastonbury! Yeah. yeah! Hey guys, remember me? Yeah, we do. Now clear off. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for the way things end between us. And I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye, but for what it's worth, I just want to say that I'm generally really, really happy for you guys' success and fortune. And I wish you all the best in the future. Shut up, mate. Yeah, we don't need to hear your sub story. Wait, who are you? I'm John Smythe. We were earlier in the doctor's waiting room. It turns out my cough wasn't as bad as I thought. <coughs> Wait, does that mean you replace me with someone with the same name? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, and he's one hell of a drummer too. We don't need anything from you. Thanks for the apology. Bye. Bye.
Hi, Mum. After you died, Grant told me that this was one of your favourite places to walk. And it is beautiful. I never knew you, obviously. You died giving birth to me. But the truth is, I'm going very soon as well. And hopefully, after all this time, we can finally get to know each other. I know you blame yourself for my death, but it wasn't your fault. I don't blame you. Find your inner peace, then come join me. I used to plant this bridge a lot when I was younger. The other kids never used to let me play. This is the tree where I had my first kiss. How am I not dead? Help. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh my God, thank goodness we found you. Sorry, Penny, but she got the names mixed up. Wait, no. You mean there are two John Smith? Yes, and because of you, I gave the hourglass to the wrong person. My paradiddles were better than yours. <laughs>